Hello everyone, Professor D here. Today we're going to learn how to use action buttons, how to find them, and how to make an interactive slideshow. So let's get started. So this is our interactive slideshow. This is our welcome page that you're looking at. We're teaching English, math, and history. Now you can make your interactive slideshow however you prefer. But this is just to show you how to use the action button. So I'm going to click on English. And it takes me to where the English lesson should be. Then I'm going to click on the back. And it's going to take me back to the welcome page. Okay, now we want to study math. So I'm going to click on math. And it takes me to where the, all the math lessons should be. I'm going to click on back. And it takes me right back to the welcome page. And now I'm going to click on the subject history. And it takes me to where all the history lessons should be. And I'm going to click on back. And it takes me back to the welcome page. So how do we create all of this in PowerPoint? And that's what we're going to talk about right now. So we're going to go to File. And I'm going to make a new PowerPoint. So this is going to be a blank presentation. I'm going to um, get my title and content. You Now, if you want to put a design on it, you can. It makes it more interesting if you put a design on it. I'm, I'm going to delete my um, title slide. So if you want to put a design on it, you can. So let me just go ahead and um, put a basic, some type of a basic design on it so that it's at least uh, uniform. So I'm just going to call this example um, action buttons. Uh, video. Okay. All right. So what I did was I put a, uh, a welcome. So let me just do that. And I actually went to the home page. And I centered my welcome. Now, I don't want these bullets. So, I'm going up to the paragraph group. And I'm clicking on the bullets. And I'm clicking none to get rid of the bullets. So, because I like my PowerPoint slideshow to be um, color coordinated. I'm just going to change my font from black to a very dark green. And then I'm going to make the word welcome stand out. And there we go. So then you want to tell your users exactly what you want them to do. I'm just going to say click below to start the game. So we're going to act like this is a game. So I'm going to make this smaller. So I'm going to my font group and I'm clicking on decrease font so that this could be smaller. Now what I did not want to do was make the welcome part smaller. I want welcome to be big. Okay, so now I'm going to put, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going to put an enter in to go to the next line. Here we go. So now what I want to do is I want to go to the insert. And then from the insert, what I want to do from here is I want to click on shapes. Now, if you're looking for action buttons specifically here, they go at the bottom. But you can pick any button that you want, and then you can program it to do what you want it to do. So I'm just going to click on a rectangle, and I'm going to draw a rectangle. All right, and I'm going to um, copy it, and then I'm going to just paste it. <clears throat> and I'm, um, excuse me. So um, now we have the two rectangles here now what i want to do is go back to the insert and i want to go over to the text group and say text box because i want to draw a text box so that now i can call whatever game this is i can say what it is so um because i didn't uh, I, I don't know what game it is i'm just going to call it monday and then um I'm going to center it and I'm going to grow the font to make it larger because I want to make sure that everyone can see it. Of course, um, 
I'm going to change the font color and maybe I'll make this font color um, white let's see what that looks like so that looks okay okay so this one we're going to do the same thing insert text box and we're just going to call this Tuesday you can put your text box anywhere you want and um, you can go ahead and make it white and you can grow it and let me see what font I use 40 and this is 44 so I'm going to make this 40 and then I'm just going to put my text box in a place where they're pretty much um, aligned this is pretty much aligned okay so I have the face of my welcome right here all right so now what I want to do is I want to make other slides so I'm going to go to a new slide and I'm going to say title and content slide and uh, for this one I'm going to say uh, Monday and I'm going to center the title and I'm going to say this is the place of course this is where you would put all of your information for the person to learn and you will take off the bullets and then if you wanted to change your font you could do that as well. I'm going to make my font larger. And I'm going to put the words about. And I want to, um, there we go. And I think I'm going to center it. Okay. So, since I have everything looking the way I want it to look, I'm just going to copy the slide, say duplicate slide. Instead of having Monday here, I'm going to say, Tuesday and the reason why I'm saying Tuesday because on my first slide our game is Monday and Tuesday so so we have one slide that says Monday and another slide that says Tuesday all right so now what I'm going to do is go back to the first slide and on the Monday slide I'm just going to click in there I'm going to go to my insert tab here I'm going to go to my text box I'm sorry, I'm going to go to my links and I'm going to say action. So I'm clicking on action. Now, if the person clicks on Monday, I want them to be able to go to the Monday slide. So right now it says action settings, action on click, it says none. I want to make sure I enable hyperlink and click the drop down arrow and it should say slides. And once you click on slides, you'll see the slides you have available. So I wanted to say Monday, so I'm gonna click on Monday and I'm gonna say, okay. And I'm gonna say, okay, here, all right? So the next one, if you click on the next rectangle, I want you to go to the slide that says Tuesday. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to hyperlink. I'm gonna click the drop down arrow. I'm gonna click on slides and I'm gonna click Tuesday. I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to say OK right here. All right? Now, if I uh, run this slide, so we have our slide, so I'm going to click on Monday. We can see it's a hyperlink because it has the hay in there. It should take me to Monday. Okay, but there's no way to get back. So what we're going to do is hit Escape, and we're going to make the back buttons now on our Monday slide. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to where it says insert. I'm going to go to the illustrations group and click on shapes. I'm going to go all the way down to where it says action and I'm going to click the action button. I'm going to draw my little button. You can make it as big or as small as you like. And I want this to go back. So I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and I'm going to click on slide and I wanted to go back to my welcome so I'm gonna say okay and then I'm going to say okay now you can at this point if you want to you can put a you can put a sign up here or some text up here that says back but on this one I'm not going to do that so now let's set 
the back buttons for our Tuesday slide. So we're going to go to the insert. We're going to go to shapes. We're going to go all the way down to action button and we're going to click on it and we're going to make our draw our button. We're going to make sure it goes back to the original slide. So we're going to click on slide. Then we're going to say yes. We want it to go back to welcome. Say okay. And then say okay here. Okay. And now this should work. So let's go slideshow from the beginning. Because we want to start it from to be the beginning. So I'm going to click on Monday. It takes us to our Monday lesson. I'm going to click on back. It takes us back to the welcome page. I'm going to click on Tuesday. It takes us to our Tuesday lesson. And then I'm going to click back. And it takes us back to the welcome page. Of course, you can make any type of slideshow that you want. This is not centered very well, but I wanted to make sure you knew how to uh, use the action buttons. And so you have it. So have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.